depend on what um, BN is bringing. I mean, if they bring in the same comp we saw them earlier, Nelson, Helena, Aki, yes, they are. So... Here Jeez. comes the ramening. The, the, the ramening is happening. Here we go. This is a very... I, I, I just... This is a very odd map choice for these tiers. It's built... It makes for fast gameplay, but this is just... Ugh. All right, so we're seeing uh, Buenas Noche sending their Akazuki to B and the Helena and Nelson down the 1-2. Okay, so they're taking the same tack that we saw... Um, uh, Toxic Elitist take earlier. Sending the Aki off by himself, running the other two ships down the 1 2 line. Now, um, FTW is taking a much more focused approach. They're sending the Gaja. The Gaja's gonna, looks like he's gonna try and come in the eastern edge of B. He's moving north up the 8 line right now. The Nagato is hanging back, moving up the 10 line, right on the border of the 10 9 line. And the Baltimore looks like he's about to. What is this guy doing? He's behind the Gaja by about five clicks. Looks like he's going to turn his bow into B and use this island as cover from the west. Yeah. So he's going to camp. There's an island in uh, G7. You can kind of see it there. And he's going to camp right there. G7 God. island. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. That's sneaky. Yep. The Akazuki is getting into some bad, bad territory right now. Well, Gaja's He's now gonna into, pop B. into B. Both destroyers in B now. Only problem with this is Time to Metal is not supported by his team. No, he's not. So this could be an early frag right here. Let's see. This Baltimore is reorienting himself. He's reversing. He was spotted momentarily, too. He's got his guns pointed north, so they know now where Time to Metal is, but they have not spotted any of the other ships. Baltimore's got Helena shells coming in. No dice. Here come the torpedoes from the Akazuki. From wh where are they going? They're going right at the Nagato. He just launched, so we'll see if he okay. um, manages to net a hit here. Helena's spotted now on the other side of the map. Akazuki very briefly spotted as he leaves the cap to the north. Whaler's well, gotta know there's torpedoes on the way. He's gotta know. Well, he's playing, he's, he's joggling he's... his speed, so. And he is turning now. Nelson Shell's coming in. He takes a little bit of hit. Here come the torpedoes. They should be just becoming yep. visible. Yep. Whaler may be now. out of turn. He's gonna take one, maybe. No, he's not. Whaler's gonna sneak right through him. Just barely scratching the paint a, on the starboard a side. Battleship sized gap in that torpedo salvo as Whaler reorients himself to face the Helena and the Nelson on the 2 3 line. The Akazuki did pop his Torp Reload Booster and has sent a second rack at the Nagato, expecting him to slow down, but I don't think he will. Whaler's going full beam. He is going full speed. He's turning back to deal with the threat at A. Baltimore has done similar as well. Kind of reorient... Again, once again, reversing to reorient his ship. Here, and with that being said, for the FTW has... um gone up with the points trade by 60 points and Buenas Noches still has not capped A. Nope. It's early games like this that either pay off or don't pay off. And in Buenas Noches' case, it did not pay off. Wheeler they now are spotting the these HP torps trade. coming up his stern. He's got to make sure he doesn't take this one. Nope, they run out. Ooh, very lucky here. Red Russian moving into this gap between B and A, trying to reset the Baltimore before he caps. Is he going to get the shells on? It's not enough. The Oh, it's the Nelson he's shooting. He can't see the Helena. So the Helena bags A as the Nelson turns out to run north, it looks like. 
a few shells on the yeah. Baltimore there. No, no joy really. Nothing major. Those deep waters barely missing the stern right there. Mm hmm. I gotta say, if I'm TFTW, I'm not comfortable either, because I know that Akizuki is still lurking to the north somewhere, capable of threatening my one cap. The Akizuki is playing things very passively right now. I don't know if you see a the dirigible on your map in between up in the north part. Aki's spotted kind of now. Up. They've spotted oh, here him. Here we go. And the well, gunfight begin. Here we go. Yeah, we he's, have in a a gun, he's in a gunfight with this Gaja. That's not a place I want to be if I'm the Gaja. Oh, no. But look at this. Red the Russian Baltimore getting out. on the action. Yep. Helena shells. Akizuki shells. Red Russian needs smoke. I don't think he's going to live long enough to get any of it. The Helena shells can't get over the island right now. And he's moving to dodge the Aki shells. He's trying to go dark. Is it going to matter? 900 HP. I don't think HP. so. I don't think so. Nope. Doesn't and matter. first blood to time to metal. Well played in that gunfight. Time the to metal. Just... Doing brilliant things with those Akizuki guns. Catching out the Gaja. As Buenos Noches. Down points, but up a ship. Big hit from yep. the Helena on the ball. Solid hit from the Helena AP there on Admiral PNG's port side. Another salvo coming in. No dice. But now he's in a gunfight with his Akizuki. The Akizuki coming off a little worse for the wear there, down to 1,400. Is the Baltimore radar up? I have to wonder. I don't think so, but Whaler is in a position where he needs to he needs to put some shells on the Helena. He does. Whaler needs to kill this Helena. But I don't think the Helena is going to give him the shot. Jamie Mendoza angling very well. Not able to get shells over the island there. Taking a shot at PNG. PNG's cover really solid. Helena shells not getting over that island. 16 inch shells really now coming much in on Jamie. I going from Kaiser. Jamie under 1,000 now. Ooh. This could Baltimore be Baltimore shells going in on Jamie. Ladder. Here comes the AP. Bam. And that's it. The equalizer has been made very apparent. We, Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a game. Solid Kaiser game here. Kaiser trying to brawl it out with Whaler. Solid game here now as PNG needs to... Find, needs to try and finish off that Akizuki. The Akizuki on 1,400 HP somewhere up on the B line last we saw him. He's, yeah, he's sitting at about uh, B6 right now. The other option that Waver now, has, uh, that the FTW has, they've got a good solid AP broadside on this, on this Nelson. There goes the Nelson getting his new ship. That 3D printer at work. What I'm, what I'm also kind of concerned about is Kaiser was not respecting the Baltimore's AP with the 203s. No, he wasn't. Ooh, but, big AG salvo there. But you see now, uh -oh. you see now the Akizuki shells from the north. Ooh, Ooh solid salvo there from the Nagato. Whaler doing great things with those guns to this Nelson. Into secondary range now. I think Whaler realizes the Nelson's armor can't hold up to his main battery. He's not worried about the HE. He's going in. I think Kaiser may be loading AP. There it is. Oh! Solid hit now. And it's going to... That's the game. Oh, it He's is out. Over. That's the wow. game. BN wow. eliminates the last tournament's champions here in the elimination rounds. I, call, I said it earlier. I didn't like that Akizuki hanging out there. That would have worried me. And they didn't finish him off. And it cost him. What a game, though. This is Good game. Thing. That was action-packed. That is exactly what we wanted to see.